welcome back. So today's video is going to be on current drugstore favourites. So these are things that I've been using a lot, that I've picked up recently, that I really recommend, and just things that are basically awesome. So I'm going to jump straight in. So the first thing that is awesome is the Maybelline The Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I use this probably every day. This is just an absolutely amazing primer for your face. Um, this just sort of, you smooth it on, you don't need a lot, don't over um, use this product, you need literally like a little bit. And it just goes on really nicely, smooths out your skin, and then you apply foundation obviously on top, and it just helps it to blend so well. And it helps it to stay, it blurs pores, it just does a really awesome job. And it's like under 10 pounds, I think it's like eight pounds. So this stuff is really, really good, and I highly recommend it. I do have a video, um, and I'll try and remember to link it in the information bar below, comparing this to the Benefit Professional. Um, all in all, I don't think it's a dupe for the Professional, but I still think it is an awesome product so if you're looking for an affordable primer definitely check this out if you haven't already um, when it comes to foundation the foundation favorite at the moment is the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation um, yes this is a pretty old product it's not necessarily anything new but they have just released my shade recently so I've been using this so so much it is really really worth the hype in my opinion uh, because so many people do rave about this product and you know for good reason basically it leaves you with a gorgeous glow to the skin it lasts all day it blends really well and I just think it is awesome it looks so so good on the skin and I just think this is probably one of my new favorite drugstore foundations you know one I would reach for quite a lot um over anything else so yeah really really good really worth it I think it's um $8.99. You can get it on deals quite a lot though, so I definitely check it out when Boots or Superdrug have deals on because you can get this for a pretty good price, I would imagine. Um, what else should I go on to? Let's go on to powder. Um, I always like to set my foundation with a powder where possible, and the powder that I've been loving recently is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Not new by any means, if anything, this is actually an old product. Um, to me as well as you know just in general but it is something that I've fallen back in love with recently um, I just decided to pick it up because I'd heard people raving about it on YouTube and I was like you know what I can remember really loving that so I'm gonna pick that up again and it is amazing and it is you know just great it's not too chalky at all um, it doesn't look chalky on your face it doesn't cling to dry patches it's really finely milled it just sort of like sets your foundation and your concealer perfectly definitely a winner for powder if you're looking for a nice affordable powder it's like 3.99 check this out i love rimmel and they just keep coming out with awesome awesome products so definitely check this out um what should i go on to next let's go on to um bronzer um my favorite bronzer at the moment is actually from nyx and this is the matte bronzer um you can pick these up on the nyx website um and this is absolutely gorgeous. This is in the shade light because I'm really pasty. And this, again, is really finely milled, doesn't look chalky, blends beautifully on the skin and just leaves you with a nice bit of colour on the face. And I really, really like this. It's quite difficult in the drugstore to find a nice matte bronzer, but this is definitely a winner for me. I love it and I think it is a really beautiful colour. And they do different shades as well, which is also good because obviously everyone's got some different skin tones. For highlighter, um, I have to admit, I'm never really that impressed with highlighters in the drugstore. I don't think, I think it's a big gap that the, high, um, that the drugstore have with highlighters. They just don't seem to make very many. When they do, they're generally not very good. The only two that I like is this one and the Soap and Glory Glow All Light. This one is the L'Oreal one that I don't really think has a name, um, or I can't see a name on it anyway, but this is what it looks like, so you can get it at the L'Oreal counter, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. I would say you need to use a light hand with this stuff, because I made the mistake of just swirling my highlighter brush and then going woo, and seeing a big streak of highlight up my face, so definitely use a light hand, but when you use a light hand, it just leaves a gorgeous glow to the face and is so worth it this again isn't expensive none of this stuff really is and i think it could rival some high-end products to be honest so yeah absolutely love that um moving on to blush the two blushes well the range of blushes that i've been loving at the moment but i only have two of them are the nyx powder blushes these are incredible and i really want to get some more off the nyx website i need to do an order actually from nyx and i think i'm going to get some more of these they are just absolutely amazing they're so pigmented they blend really well they're just 
you know, you don't have to have too much of a light hand with them because like I have some blushes that are so pigmented that you literally have to go tap and then blend in. Whereas this, you know, you can still sort of like swirl your brush a little bit. This one is in the shade Pinched, an absolutely gorgeous kind of peachy pink with golden shimmer. And then this one is a Desert Rose, which is kind of just like a mid-toned of pink and gorgeous when you want that extra bit of blush to the cheeks love these they're incredible i've not tried their cream blushes but i have heard those are good too so definitely check those out because i've heard so many people rave about their cream blushes as well um moving on to eyes um i've not really tried that many eyeshadows in the drugstore just because i i have said this before i'm a little bit of a snob and i like my higher end eyeshadows but i've heard a lot of people talk about the um maybelline quads and saying how great they are so i decided to check one out this one's in the shade coral drama and this is just an absolutely beautiful neutral palette absolutely amazing pigmentation blendability color just really really amazing i want to check out some more of these i don't know really um if they have very many neutral sort of selection uh, sort of collections in their range but there is a purple one that i would like to pick up for when i want to do a purple smoky eye and these are like 6.99 i think and amazing quality i'm really impressed with these i didn't think i would be as impressed with them as i am and there is a reason that people talk about the maybelline quads because they're incredible so if you're looking for a sort of nice quad or a nice eyeshadow from the drugstore check these out absolutely amazing um sticking with eyes i'm gonna go on and talk about the maybelline color tattoos i know that i talk about these quite a lot and they're not necessarily new but i do have a new shade this i actually got from america i made an order on ebay and they shipped it from america and this is in the shade barely branded which is a beautiful neutral color just a really nice kind of champagne color ish um and this goes really well with max dazzle light eyeshadow if you have that they just look beautiful together but this is just really really lovely and i love these because they're so multi-use like you can use them for so many things you can use them as an eyeshadow base and then put eyeshadow on top you can wear them just on their own as an eyeshadow or you can do what i've been doing with my darker colors recently and using them as like a um, an eyeliner so you just get an eyeliner brush and uh, kind of uh, Get an eyeliner brush and kind of swirl it around and then use it as an eyeliner and that works really well as well so these are so good they're like 5.99 or something and they're multi-use you can use them for like so many different things and well worth the money um sticking with eyes i've got some eyeliners um the first one is the sorry that was my dog the soap and glory super cat eyeliner and this is absolutely amazing this is just like a felt tip eyeliner and looks really really lovely doesn't smudge doesn't go anywhere and sort of sets to like a matte finish milo milo he's ignoring me let's ignore him um the next one is the l'oreal super liner black this is a sort of normal liquid liner and this just looks really really nice this leaves a little bit more of a sheen though whereas that one dries quite matte this one is just kind of like leaves kind of like a sheen to the eyes but still lovely and then the um rimmel london scandalized pencil eyeliners these are amazing i love these i talk about them all the time i also use them all the time i probably don't go through a week without using these because they are that good so the reason i'm talking about these again is because you seriously need to go and pick them up they're 3.99 they last ages and i think they're better than the urban decay ones amazing um then i have a mascara that i've been loving recently this is the maybelline big eyes mascara this stuff is incredible because it comes with one end um for your lower lashes so a skinny wand and then one end with a thicker wand for your upper lashes and i really really like this i just think it makes my eyes look amazing my lashes look really volumized and long just seriously good stuff um and again quite cheap you know all from the drugstore so it's all going to be cheap but yeah seriously guys if you've not checked this out check it out i know i'm going to be repurchasing this when i run out and then finally some lip products um there haven't been too many in the drugstore that I've been sort of getting recently. I've been quite good with not buying too many lip products in the drugstore because I do tend to go a bit mental. But the ones that I have been loving, and I mean loving, recently are the Rimmel Colour Rush, um, what are these called? The Colour Rush Lacquer Balms or something? No, not Lacquer Balm. 
I don't know, Colour Rush Chubby Sticks, whatever they're called. Um, and these things are absolutely amazing. I love kind of like big crayon lip products. I don't know why. I just think they are easy to apply and they last ages. And I just like the concepts. So the three colours that I have are Give Me a Cuddle, which is a gorgeous kind of baby pink. Rumour has it, which is a really, really deep pink, almost like a red. So that's really nice for a night out. And then this one, which is from the Rita Ora collection. So this is a new release and this is called I Want Candy. And it's a really gorgeous kind of like bubblegum pink. And these are so, so good. Lovely colour selection. And they do kind of stain your lips a little bit. So they do last ages. So I would highly, highly recommend these if you've not checked them out already. And that is it. Those are all the products that I have been currently loving from the drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am hoping to go on and do a makeup tutorial that is all drugstore soon. So please give me a big thumbs up if you would like to see that. And I hope you all have a great day or evening guys. See you soon. Bye.